Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle ABC as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this altitude CD is represented by X plus 1. Moreover, this line segment uh, AD is represented by 2X uh, minus 1. And this line segment BD is represented by 3x minus 11. Now we are going to calculate the area of this triangle ABC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our action plan. We are going to calculate the value of x before calculating the area of this triangle ABC. And now let's focus on these uh, two triangles, this uh, blue one and the yellow one. And now let's assume that alpha and beta are two complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these uh, angles, alpha plus beta is going to be 90 degrees. So let me go ahead and call this angle uh, alpha. And we know that uh, this uh, angle is 90 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be beta because alpha and beta are complementary angles now this whole angle is 90 degrees and this angle is beta so this angle has got to be alpha and likewise this angle is 90 degrees this angle is alpha then this angle has got to be beta so therefore we conclude that these two triangles triangle adc and this triangle bdc are similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem so therefore we are going to have proportions in other words the ratio of this side that is opposite to angle alpha is x plus one and the side a opposite to angle beta is 2x minus 1. Let me go ahead and put a ratio x plus 1 divided by 2x minus 1 equals to likewise the side that is opposite to this angle alpha is 3x minus 11 divided by the side opposite to angle beta is x plus 1. And now let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply. So therefore we are going to have x plus 1 times x plus 1 equal to on the other side is going to be 3x minus 11 times 2x minus 1 and now let's go ahead and multiply these factors we are going to do the double distribution on both sides as you can see over here so therefore we are going to get x square plus x plus x plus 1 equal to on the right hand side that's going to give us 6x square minus 3x minus 22x plus 11. Now let's go ahead and combine the like terms. And now let's go ahead and move all these terms on the right hand side. So therefore we are going to have a 6x square minus 25x plus 11. When we move these terms on the other side become negative x square minus 2x minus 1 equal to 0. Let's combine the like terms. We got uh, this uh, quadratic equation and we are going to solve it by grouping and factoring. So therefore I am going to tweak this negative 27x could be written as negative 2x minus 25x. So therefore this equation could be written as 5x square minus 2x minus 25x plus 10 equal to 0. 
and now we can see between first these two terms uh, x is in common and between these last two terms uh, we have a uh, negative 5 is in common so therefore we can factor out uh, x from here so we got uh, 5x minus uh, 2 and here we got negative 5 in common so we got uh, 5x minus 2 equal to 0 and now we can see we have a 5x minus 2 in uh, common so therefore we can write uh, x minus 5 times uh, 5x minus uh, 2 equal to 0 so let's go ahead and separate uh, these two factors so we got x minus 5 equal to 0 the other one is 5x minus uh, 2 equal to 0 for this one we are going to get uh, x equal to positive 5 value for this equation we are going to get x equal to 2 divided by 5 value now we can see x equal to 2 fifth value is not possible if we replace uh, x by 2 fifth so this become uh, 3 times uh, 2 fifth uh, minus 11 and we can see that this is going to give us a negative value and we know that the side length cannot be a negative number so therefore we are going to reject this x equal to 2 fifth value and we are going to accept this x equal to 5 value so thus our x value turns out to be a 5 let's go ahead and figure out these side lengths i'm going to replace this x by 5 that is going to give us uh, 6 value now let's go ahead and replace this uh, x equal to 5 value over here 2 times 5 is 10 minus 1 is going to give us uh, 9 and finally let's go ahead and plug it in uh, x equal to 5 value over here 5 times 3 is 15 take away 11 is going to be 4 value and now we can see that our individual lengths turns out to be 9 and 4 so therefore this whole combined length a b is going to be the sum of these two numbers 9 plus 4 is going to give us 13 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, a b c and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equal to a half time base uh, time uh, height and we can see our base is uh, 13 and our height is uh, 6 so let's go ahead and fill in the blank so the area of this triangle abc is going to be a half time base is 13 times height is 6 if we simplify the right hand side so the area of this triangle is going to be 39 square units so thus the area of this triangle abc turns out to be 39 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye